I can't fly. Can you fly? No, I don't got any wings. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. It's laundry folding time. So when I finish folding these clothes, it'll be time to cook supper. Tonight we're making a Cajun chicken pasta. It looks like it's gonna be really good and it seems pretty easy. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe about 30 or 40 minutes to make, maybe 45 minutes, because we have to cook the chicken, then make the cheese sauce for the pasta. Now I'm down to all the socks. It's time for a sock party. Everybody gather around and grab socks and find their matches and like set a timer, make it a game, see who can match the most the fastest. That's fun. A lot of these socks are already matched up in here. I think somebody must have been already matching them. Somebody was already having themselves a little sock party. Oh no, Blackbird ran into the window. I hate when birds do that. Isn't that sad? Did it fly away? Yeah. Okay. As long as it flew away, he didn't knock himself and, out. He was trying was to fly scared. in there and see you, what he? I found a match. Where's that other otter? Now watch him between four. I just saw another black bird fly over there. It's the attack of the birds. All right, we are done. All right, y'all, we're about to start this chicken now. I've got a little bit of oil and butter melting in this skillet. And in the back, I've just got some water getting ready for the pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken ready and start putting it in here. So I'm just gonna split them in half. You can pound them down and have really big pieces, but I have a big pack of chicken here, so I'm just gonna split them in half. That way they'll all be about the same size. And I have this turned down to very low now because it's pretty much ready. I'm gonna get something to put my chicken on here so we can season it before we put it in the skillet. I am looking at you. You're looking at me? Yeah. Manly, manly, what do you see? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix the seasoning in this little bowl. First, we're putting some Cajun seasoning, about, probably about a fourth of a cup. Now, and we're gonna leave this out because we're gonna need it for the pasta too. A little bit of garlic powder, some dried parsley flakes. I'm just, as I see what I need, I'm just grabbing it out, so. Just a little bit of Old Bay. Mama, I am messy again. Got messy again. Yeah. Watermelon juice. Yeah. Onion powder. Salt and pepper. Now, Sissy's gonna mix that up for me. We've already got some cream cheese sitting out too. The water is ready for the pasta, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. All right, we're just gonna season our chicken on both sides. This is just half of the chicken. I still have the rest of them to do. When, while these are cooking, I'll get the rest ready. All right, we'll go ahead and fit what we can in here, and then I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so we're gonna cook it for about four minutes on each side until the chicken is cooked through. Then we'll remove it from the skillet, do the second batch, and once the chicken is all done, then we'll start the cheese mixture for the pasta. While this chicken, uh, well, let me get the other chicken ready. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a different seasoning for the pasta. It's the same seasoning. I just gotta make a different mixture real quick. I should've just did a big batch and then separated it, but it'll only take a minute. Okay, got the second batch of chicken going. The pasta's done, I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. And we're gonna put just a little bit of oil on it and sit it over to the side. While we're waiting on this chicken to finish, we're gonna go ahead and slice up a red bell pepper and an onion. Y'all just smell like Sorry, this is kind of loud, but if you've ever gotten the grilled chicken at Captain D's, that's what this smells like. It's really good. That's what, anytime we go to Captain D's, that's what I get is the grilled chicken. Oh, we have a turkey egg? 
Miss Turkey's back, everybody. <laughs> She's laid us another egg. She's back into action. Okay, so we've got a little bit of oil and butter in this pan. Once this butter melts, we're gonna put in our peppers and onions. And I've got this on medium. We're gonna saute these peppers and onions for about four minutes, four or five minutes. We're putting in half a block of cream cheese, and I'm gonna see how creamy this is. I might add a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead, because I'm making more than the recipe called for anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and go with one whole block of cream cheese. Uh, that tastes just like having these grilled chicken, y'all. If y'all want some of their grilled chicken or shrimp, you want to make it at home, just make that seasoning blend up right there. That's it. It tastes just like it. Okay, y'all. We're putting in a cup and a half of half and half. I don't have quite a half a cup of grated Parmesan left. That's just, you know, probably a little more than a fourth of a cup, but that'll be fine. Now we're going to put in the seasoning mix that we made. This was, it was all the same stuff as what we did with the chicken, but not quite as much of each thing. I'll have the recipe down below for y'all. Okay, now we just stir in the pasta. And if we need to, if it's too thick and we need to add anything, we'll add a little milk. If I had any more half and half, I'd add just a little bit more of that, but I used it all, so if we need to, we'll just add a little milk. That's it, it's looking pretty good. I don't think we'll have to add anything else. I'm gonna turn it all the way down to low. We're gonna steam some broccoli and we'll be ready to eat. Okay y'all, it's a little while later now. We've already got the kitchen cleaned. Everybody's gotten ready for bed and all that stuff. But I almost forgot to tell y'all about this chicken pasta, Cajun chicken pasta. It was wonderful and a new family favorite and it's very surprising because I didn't even mention it while I was cooking because everybody besides me says they do not like Alfredo sauce. And as y'all saw when I was cooking the cheese sauce, I just kept calling it a cheese sauce. I never mentioned that it was kind of like an Alfredo sauce, but you know, the Cajun cream cheesy version or something. Anyway, I just didn't say anything about it because I knew then nobody would really like, they would just automatically say they didn't like it because they don't like Alfredo sauce or they thought that they didn't. It is great, y'all. The chicken, of course, like I already told y'all, it tastes just like the grilled chicken and the grilled shrimp, the seasoning that they put on both at Captain D's. It is really good. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm, I bet that they just put Old Bay seasoning on their chicken and shrimp. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong, but that is probably what's making it taste like the Captain D style grilled chicken and grilled shrimp. It's really, really good. It would also be good over rice because that's how they serve it. Rice with some steamed vegetables. Great, but anyway, that pasta was amazing. So good, y'all. The only person who didn't love it was Sissy. She didn't, I mean, she didn't hate it, but you know, it wasn't her favorite. Everybody else absolutely loved it, and I like it. it. Like, it's way better than any normal, like, Alfredo sauce. It's so good, and it's not too spicy. I know we put the Cajun seasoning mix and all in there, but it is not overly spicy at all. Even the chicken, it's, it's not terrible. And you can adjust that, you know, with how much Cajun seasoning you want to put in it and all. But yeah, this is all that's left. Just a little bit of chicken. So it was definitely a winner. Put that on your menu for this week. I'm going to put this up and I want to tell y'all about this candle I have going back here because it's smelling like a... Well, let me put this chicken up and I'll tell y'all. Okay, first of all, the egg hunt candle that we got from the Dollar Tree, it's okay. It has a little bit of a throw, but it's not great at all. It's, um, I mean, you can, you can smell it a little bit. It's definitely better than some of the, you know, Dollar General candles. And even, I think even better than some of the Walmart candles, but it's not, you know, not the best, but it's not terrible. Anyway, this one is one that we got from when we went to that brand new Ross the other day. It's called Refresh, and when you smell it, just smelling it, it does smell very refreshing but when it burns, it smells like Icy Hot. <laughs> That's what it smells like. So I don't hate it, but it does smell like Icy Hot. That's what it smells like. I just wanted to let y'all know in case you see these and wonder. All right, it's story time. Then I gotta switch out laundry 
and set up for breakfast. The request for breakfast in the morning is pancakes and bacon, so that'll be easy enough. <laughs> I'll just sit out the pancake mix at the end. Little Fox is sly, sneaky, and slick. He has orange, rusty fur and paws that are quick. With tall, perky ears and a long, pointy snout, he sniffs and he snuffs when snooping about. Is he snuffing a squirrel? He might be snuffing a squirrel, I don't know. <laughs> Little Raccoon is sneaky and quick with a black and gray tail that is fluffy and thick. Um, it's gray. She's awake all night and sleeps through the day, but sometimes in the dark is the best time to play. When the sun comes up and the moon goes to bed, little raccoon rests her sleepy 